MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 26 Balance Forces All right, let's get into the question. If the forces acting on an object are balanced, then which of the following must be true about the object? A, the object experiences forces of equal magnitude on all of its sides. B, the object experiences no net acceleration. C, the object is at rest. Or D, the magnitude of the normal force must equal that of the gravitational force. I'll give you a moment to select the correct option. Press pause if you need to. All right, now that you've had enough time to think, let's delve into the solution. All right, so the magnitude of the normal force um, does not have to equal its gravitation, gravitational force. It's possible for there to be additional forces acting in the direction of um, opposite the normal force, okay? So I chose to use myself as the object for de demonstrative purposes. All right, so, um, and that will, if there's additional push forces, this will cause an increase in the magnitude of the normal force, okay? It's also possible for the normal force to be equal uh, to a directional component of the gravitational force as we see here. Okay, so the normal force would be equivalent to mg cosine of theta if the object is raised on an elevated plane uh, by an angle theta. And the reason why we know that this is also theta is if you go back to ge geometry and you were to make another parallel line here across from mg, you would get parallel uh, lines and this um, component would be a transverse, and so the transversal here would correspond to this angle here. Like, it's a long proof. Don't force me to get into it. You can just Google it, okay? All right, so it's possible, again, I said, for the normal force to be equal to the directional component. It would be this component here because we can see that it would be perpendicular to the inclined surface. And this is always going to be the case when you have an incline. The normal force is never going to be directly um, equal and opposite to mg if that's the only downward force acting, okay? Also, an object can uh, be in motion experiencing constant velocity. So there's no um, necessary requirement for the object to be at rest, although an object at rest is experiencing a constant velocity of zero meters per second squared, okay? So finally, when all the forces acting on the object balance each other, the object is at equilibrium. It's not apparently moving, and it, most importantly, it doesn't accelerate, okay? So there's no requirement for the forces acting on the object to be equal in magnitude on all of its sides, but there is a requirement that the sum of the forces on each side, whatever sides those may be, balance the opposite side, okay? And as a result, the object experiences no net acceleration. So the correct answer choice is answer choice B, no net acceleration.